Chateau de Rochemorin uh, Rouge, 2015. Uh, this is more of a sort of a classic Bordeaux, or what, what do you say? At least it, it, in, on, on my palate. Rochemorin is one of the oldest vineyard of the Pisac Leonian region because it goes back uh, to, uh, 300 centuries ago, you see, oh, and wow. established by the Montesquieu family. And um, Montesquieu is a very well-known uh, writer of the 18th century. And uh, so it has, it's an extremely old his, history, but don't, the vines are not that old. Eh? The vines are, <laughs> are, are, have been replanted since. And, uh, but Rochemorin is a wine where we, uh, that is a majority of Merlot. It yeah, is about okay. uh, 30% of uh, Cabernet Sauvignon. It tries to be uh, soft, aromatic, complex on the nose, but uh, for a classic, still easy drinking, you know, still easy, soft, easy drinking. We don't try to make it too complex, too rich, and uh, still it has aging potential, but we like this wine uh, to, to offer it for consumers who would like to enjoy Bordeaux at the early stages, you see? Yeah. But because it's aged in barrel, um, it's for one year and it makes one this year. wine quite uh, rich and complex as you can see. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. It's rich and complex, but I agree with what you're saying. It's, 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 it's not too uh, austere, too heavy. It's also quite uh, elegant. It's got a lot of finesse, I think. It's on what we the call velvet, velvety tannins. Velvety tannins. Tannins, yeah. but soft, but tannins. soft, soft yeah. yeah, soft definitely. tannins. But but uh, when it comes to w wine making for this one, because you, as you said before, when we talked about the the red bonnet, uh, I mean people's um, people's taste and people's uh, what what people are looking for have changed over the years. So, so have you changed the wine making uh, techniques for 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 uh, the red Rochemorin over the years? Hello, 2015, um, I wasn't in charge. Okay, and but we have definitely uh, changed a few things um, with the technique uh, first of uh, uh, helping ripening the grapes on, in the vineyard, having uh, avoiding any green uh, characteristic within the grapes, and as well softening the tannins. And uh, we have pushed the Merlot variety in the mm -hmm. front to try to make this wine easier to drink. In fact, us we. We sell Rochemorin in France only in restaurants. Okay, oh, so it okay. has to be a wine. It has to be a wine for food. Okay, oh, okay. this is definitely a wine that you will enjoy drinking with food. It's not a wine to sell out. It's a wine to enjoy in the first in the first years um, of it. And you see, this wine is already five years old. It doesn't yeah. it doesn't have any signs of uh, aging yet. It's still fresh, but it's mature. You see, yeah, yeah. it is so easy drinking. And, and 15 was an amazing vintage as well. It was a beautiful That's quite vintage for already. Yeah, indeed. But I mean, it's it's, it's also quite fascinating that that it actually, actually is a red Bordeaux that you could uh, you could open it and drink it right now because a lot of uh, Bordeaux need a lot of time to <laughs> to come together. No, no, <laughs> you have to you have to change. Uh, yeah, people have to change uh, thinking about the Bordeaux wines. Yeah, because yeah, uh, yeah. we have been criticized a lot for uh, being wines that you have to sell out and you have to wait for, so you cannot enjoy them young. And uh, but this is over. This is this time is over. Now the yeah. people have changed a lot of things within their technologies and their way of making wines. And we try to make. I'm not talking about the classified growth and the top of the top. You see, but 90% uh, of the wines made from Bordeaux can be drunk within the first five years, easily. Yeah, exactly. Easy. People need to change yeah. their perception. Uh, but uh, as you said, it's, it's a wine that you, you made for restaurants. Uh, so what, what, what would be the perfect pairing uh, if you walk into a, to a bistro in, in Paris and, and order this wine? What, sh what should I have to eat? A steak tartare. <laughs> Easy as that, isn't it? <laughs>